Hi everyone. Hi. I'm not sure if anyone's on yet, but um, it's me, Marinouche. Welcome to class. Hello. Someone joined in. Hi. Um, hi there. Oh, hi Laurel. Hi. <laughs> hi everyone. It's me. Um, hello. Hi Lori. Hello folks. Oh, hi Lindsay. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, welcome everyone. As, as you're just joining in, as you can see, I'm not Lindsay. I'm so sorry, but she's having some internet issues today. Hi everyone. Um, so she asked me to cover. Uh, I'm on vacation, but I, I was glad that I, I could cover and uh, teach a class today. Um, so welcome everybody. Hi. Hi Amy. Hi Sunil. Hi Sarah. So again, I'm just covering for Lindsay today. She's having some uh, issues with internet. I hope I won't have any issues. Um, but just in case I cut off, my feet cut off, please um, uh, come back uh, or, or sign back in because I'll just hop quickly, uh, hop on my uh, data and, uh, and we'll get things going. So just in case it, something happens, please, like the first time I had that bad experience last week, uh, I'll be back. So um, no worries. Let me see how we're doing for time. Oh, it's 12. Hi, everybody. Hi, Gigi. Hi. Okay, so we're gonna get started. Um, I'm just gonna put the, the, the timer on so I know that we're just starting. It's 12 o'clock, so we're gonna get started. Um, so today I'm still gonna do a, a three, two, one, but different uh, combinations. So for those of you who joined in Wednesday, you're familiar. For those of you new, welcome. Uh, again, if you're just joining in, hi, I'm Mirnush, uh, just joining, um, covering up for, for Lindsay, who's got some issues today with her internet. Um, okay, so three, two, one, um, two minutes of, uh, three minutes of strength, two minutes cardio, one minute abs. So the three minutes of strength will be two moves, 45 seconds each. So I'll explain the moves and I'll show modifications. Please use your modifications. Um, I'm not there to see you. Uh, it's killing me. I love to see my participants. It all gives me so much energy, but I can feel your energy through my, my phone screen here. So um, anyways, uh, please stop. We will take breaks in between, but if you need to, water uh take uh, uh sips of water throughout and also weight so um, i recommend four or less pounds if you have hand weights if you don't have them no worries you know bottles at all so these are my little weights here so make sure that i have um connections good everybody's good can you still hear me okay give me a thumbs up if you can hear me anybody okay i hope i'm not I didn't lose you all again Okay, good. Okay, thumbs up. Excellent. Thanks, Didi. Okay, so um, we're going to start off with our warm up. It's four moves, 30 seconds each, um, twice three. So let's start with the warm up. We're going to start off with the jumping jacks. So jumping jacks are um, high or low, but whatever you do, if you do the high, please make sure you land softly. So resist that uh, kind of slamming your the bottom of your foot on the floor. So land softly as well as your foot. So squeeze and resist. So you're not, uh, again, you're light on your feet, light like a feather. So 10 more seconds here. After this, we're gonna go to a light jog in five, four, three, two, one. So light jog, again, you can do a march or you can do a nice light jog, move those arms. So we do this for 30 seconds. And after that, we're gonna go to quarter squats, just warming up the whole body, breathe, Again, I exaggerate that breathing so you don't forget to breathe. There we go, 10 more seconds. Just warming up here. If you're just joining us, welcome. Circuit three, two, one, three, two, one. So quarter squats, keep your feet uh, about hip width apart. Make sure you push your hips back. So quarter of the way, arms forward and then elbows back. Make sure you're not leaning forward. So you don't want to get those knees over your toes. You're gonna be able to see your toes at all times and breathe. Halfway there here. And the last move in the warm up is gonna be um, step touch with a pec press. Nice. Breathe. Three and one, excellent. So step touch, squeeze and push the elbows together. Shoulders are down. There we go. And as you take your arms back, do a little squeeze the shoulder blades. There we go. So we're gonna repeat that all again. 
for another two minutes. Excellent. Keep going. 10 more seconds. Nice. Five, four, three, two, one. Jumping jacks. Beautiful. Hi, everyone. So if you're just joining us, we're just warming up. So if you're three, two, one, again, I'm just uh, covering here for Lindsay. She's having some internet issues. So there we go. Okay. Nice work. 15 more seconds. And then we're getting into a light jog or march. Nice arms up, overhead, high it goes up faster. Four, three, two, one. Again, into a march or jog, your choice. Nice. Navel to spine, breathe, shoulders are down. Hope everyone having a good day. Happy Monday. It's beautiful out there with the sun shining. I can feel your energy. You got this. We're gonna have fun for the next half hour together. Don't forget, it's all about having fun too. <laughs> okay, so quarter squats, down and up. And after this, we do our last move, which is step touch with pec press. Again, throughout, uh, as you know, I'm big circle on technique, so we'll go, uh, I'll try to show, make sure that you have good technique. It's better to do less reps with good technique than more reps with not so good technique. Excellent. You got two more and one. There we go. Step touch back with a pec press. Squeeze the elbows in. <sighs> Breathe. So very important to keep breathing. Nice. So waking up that body. So if you start sitting, working, it feels good to get moving. Excellent. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Well done. Take a deep breath in. And out. Another one in. And out. Beautiful. Shake it out. Excellent. We're going to set up our timer here. Get ready here for our first circuit. So grab your weights if you have them. Again, if you don't have them, no issues. I'll demonstrate the first move or the two moves. And then we're going to take them twice through. So the first move, the weights are just by your side for added weight. And you're going to go down squat and lift. So working the side leg here. So squat as low as you can, keeping the knees behind the toes. You're not leaning forward, not leaning forward. Don't overload your knees uh, with weight and then sit it right back. And then lifting, you don't want to throw, you don't want to like kick it to the side. It's a lift and you don't want to lean. So supporting leg is nice and soft. That's the first move. The second move is uh, we're going to go into a squat. You can go in a semi squat or a full squat with a wide row. So bring the weights together so that counter balances you falling. You think you're going to fall forward or back. You're not because this kind of balances. And then you're going to do wide rows for the upper back. So again, 45 seconds is a bit long. If you feel it, take it out, shake it out, join us when you're ready. Okay? We're still all good? Excellent. Okay, 45 seconds. Let's go. Squat and lift, starting with the right leg and out. So again, go to the lowest point and out. And, and breathe. So chest open, you're looking at me. Make sure you're sitting it back. Navel to spine the whole time. And about halfway there. Excellent. 10 more seconds. And then we're gonna get down. Sorry, now it's 10 more seconds. <laughs> Good. Five more seconds, and then we're gonna get down for a wide row, staying in a squat. Let's go. So staying down here, and wide note, nice and strong. Again, you don't wanna do this. You wanna stay low, and you wanna focus on that upper back, and you wanna get your elbows back, and squeeze the shoulder blades together. <sighs> Breathing at the same time. Excellent. Nice, stay low. You got this. Excellent. 15 more seconds. Come on, you can do it. I know. Beautiful. 10 more seconds. Shoulders are down. 
five, three, two, one more, one more. Excellent. Get way back in. Let's do squat and other side, left leg. Now it doesn't matter which leg you did, just remember which leg, which leg you did and then do the opposite. Beautiful. Breathe. Nice and control. You got this. Make sure you got good form. You get tired, check it out. Join us when you're ready. Just keep moving. Ten more seconds. We got last move of the strength in your circuit. Squat and wide roll. Give me one more. Beautiful. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Drive it to the end. Excellent. Just sorry. I get close to check. Make sure everyone's doing good. Make sure I have a lost connection. Okay. Breathe. I know those legs, those quads are talking to you right now. I know. They're talking to me. There we go. Excellent. Come on, push. 10 more seconds. Come on, you got this. Even if you have to come up a little bit, don't stop. Three, two, one. Beautiful, you finish nice and strong. Shake it out, walk it out, put those weights down, grab a drink of water. Beautiful. So that 20 seconds recovery, I'll explain the cardio moves. So two moves, 30 seconds each, twice through. So we start off with jumping jacks, just like we did in the warm up, and then we're gonna do jog. So again, the jog, you can do march, a little higher, or try to kick your butt, all right? So I'm moving those arms, 30 seconds each, twice through, and then we do our one minute abs, okay? So let's get started, ready? Set, go. 30 seconds. Again, <laughs> on the second floor, I don't want to jump uh, too much up and down, so I'm going to go low. Hopefully for Wednesday, maybe I can move down to the basement. It's uh, lots of light, brighter, and a bit more room. Okay. Breathe. Go mix and match. Beautiful. Five. Three. Two. One, again, let's jog it out. Again, as I said on Wednesday, you have, uh, if you have room, you can move around. Again, I don't want to go out of my frame, so I have to stay here. But you can move around your space. You can actually just march or jog it out. So we got another 10 seconds, and then we're gonna go back to our jumping jacks. Keep moving those arms, keep breathing. Shoulders down, two, one, into our jumping jacks. Nice. Again, high or low. And even if you do high, make sure again, land softly, we go to your knees. Again, breathe. Shoulders are down. 10 more seconds. And we got last move in our cardio, which is our jog. And jog, let's go. 10 again, you wanna march it, march it out. Just keep moving those arms. Beautiful. You got 10 more seconds. And then we're ready for our abs. Three, two, one, shake it out, well done. Keep moving, don't stop, your heart rate is up. About 20, 25 second recovery here. So much, much, much. Grab a drink of water. All right, so for our next move um, is, our, is our abs. One minute abs, shake it out. Excellent, okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate the, the move and then we're gonna start. So I'm sitting back a little and tilting my phone so hopefully you can see me a little better. I know it was hard to see me last week. So we're gonna take it down and for the first 30 seconds, we're gonna do bicycles. 
So the way you do bicycles is nice and controlled. When we take our legs up, again, make sure you've got that lower back tucked into the mat, the little pelvic tilt, make that Pilates imprint, navel to spine the whole time. You don't want to over arch, take the, the pressure into your lower back. You want to engage that TA that transfers the film and this big muscle that wraps around your lower back, a lower abs and into your lower back. Now, um, when you do your bicycle, make sure you don't pull out your neck, make sure you don't drive the elbow forward, open the, uh, the chest, and then try to get your shoulder to your knee and then switch nice and slow. So first 30 seconds is this, last 30 seconds, keeping the head up, you're going to do the taps. Now, when you bring your head up, make sure to tuck your chin in slightly, bring it up. If this is too much, you can do one on one side and then one on the other. And I'm going to tell you halfway if you want to switch, okay? So I'm just gonna move this so I can see the, my timer. Okay, get ready, navel to spine, bring the feet up. So 30 seconds. Nice and slow. The closer you get that leg as you extend it out to the floor, the harder it is. Navel to spine and breathe. And again, twist. Good. Twist. So you're halfway there for this first part. So if you're doing one leg, I'm gonna switch to the other side. Almost there. Give me one more on each side. And then we're gonna hold it at the center. And then we're gonna tap tap if you take the taps further away from your body it's harder but again if your lower back starts to lift bring them closer or do one at a time and i'll tell you we're just halfway there so you can switch if you're doing one leg at a time you're almost there tap nice and slow the floor is really hard so you want to rest you just want to tap and come right back up a couple more and done well, well done come on up First circuit done, <laughs> excellent. Okay, second circuit. So shake it out, grab a drink of water, and I'll explain the moves for the second circuit. All right, so we got our weights again. We're gonna do like we did on Wednesday, the stationary lunges with a bicep curl. But the difference here is that we are going to um, hammer curl, right, down, but when we come up, I want you to just extend it back as if you were going to do a tricep, um, a tricep lift. So just do a back tricep extension like that when you come up. So you get both the bicep and the tricep. So we're going to do 45 seconds on one side and then 45 seconds on the other side. Second move is we're going to lunge. So one side, 45 seconds, one left, one side. We're going to start with the lunging to the right. So when you lunge, make sure this leg straight. Make sure you don't roll your ankle like that. Your knees behind the toes and you're pushing hips back, chest open, and that opposite arm comes up into a um, frontal raise, uh, front arm raise, but make sure you don't take it overhead, make sure you don't swing and don't lock the elbow, slight bend, okay? So we're gonna start with our lunge. So I'm gonna have my left foot forward, right foot back. Ready? Again. So we're gonna go down as you come up, extend it back to get that nice tricep. So again, technique here, make sure your shoulders are on top of your hips, your back knee goes down as close to the floor as you can, your front knee does not pass your toes. You're squeezing everything and squeezing the glutes. Elbows are right to your side, coming up about a three quarters of the way up and then squeezing your back, keeping that bicep, tricep muscle under contraction the whole time. Breathe, beautiful. Five more seconds, and then we're gonna go right to our lunge. And there we go. So, one side, we're gonna start with, and stay on the same side, so same leg, with our lunge to the side. So again, be cognizant of your um, form, make sure it meets your toes, make sure that Leg, again, you're driving with your quad, inner thigh, squeezing as you come up. There we go. Beautiful. And then I'm gonna switch to the other side. Give me 10 more seconds for the lunges. And this time, palms up. If you don't like the palms up, keep it with a hammer curl. And switch. This time I'm gonna do palms up and then extend it back. 
and extend it back. Squeeze, squeeze. Ooh. Nice and balanced. Shoulders are down. Make sure they don't creep up your ears. This happens when shoulders get tired. Breathe. High the ball of your foot. Excellent. Got 15 more seconds. And we got the last move in this circuit for strength. Five more seconds. Two, oh, <laughs> and one. You're going right to a lunge. Other side, again, keep to the one side. Watch the knee alignment. Watch that foot. Don't roll your ankle. Shoulder down. Squeeze as you come up. Squeeze. Nice. My leg is straight, but you don't lock the knee. You never lock the knee. Almost there. You got this. Oh, five more seconds. Come on. One more. Beautiful. Excellent. Well done. Yay. You got it. Okay. So let's take a rest. 20 second recovery. Grab a drink of water. Type with me your cardio move here. All right. So remember Wednesday we did the jump squats. So we're going to jump squats from side to side. So it's coming that before. So you jump, land softly, go down, chest open. You're squatting, you're not hinging at your uh, lower back, you're squatting down. So it can be here, here, or all the way to your floor, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up. Or side to side, so again, it can be high or go low. So you got 30 seconds of this. Second 30 seconds is punches. So we're gonna get into a, like a semi-squat, punch, 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 recoiling quickly, little micro moves into your uh, using your obliques, punch, punch, punch for 30 seconds, and we do that again. Okay, ready, set, go. So jump squats or mix and match. <sighs> again, landing softly, sitting it back. You should be able to see your toes. I don't want you to lean forward, and I don't want you to hinge. Right here, don't hinge, and down and up like that. That's not your lever. You are squatting side to side or side to side. So you are squatting down and up. Just a little quicker, because it's cardio. Three, two, one. Again, that's how you squat. Punch, 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 punch. Recoil quickly. Nice. Breathe. Nice. 10 more seconds, and then go back to jumping, uh, jump squats. Remember, we always got options. Please modify accordingly. You know your body best. I can't see you. Let's go. But you can feel it. Again, last soft if you're doing the high or low. Look at me. Chest open. Nice. Let me see those beautiful faces. Beautiful. 10 more seconds. Almost there. You got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Punch, 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 punch. Anytime you get tired, march it out, just don't stop. Keep going. Nice. So, 10, 13 seconds. 10 seconds. Five. Three, two, one. Beautiful, done. So we did our two minutes of cardio, march it out. Grab a drink of water. One minute abs. Okay, so how much time we have? So we got about six seconds. So what I'm gonna do is, we'll probably uh, stay down and do a few more ab moves like I wanted to do on Wednesday. <laughs> before the issues I had. Um, 
So we'll probably have time to do a couple of ab core moves and then we're going to stretch it out. Call it a day. Okay, take a deep breath in and out. Another one in and out. Lovely, shake it out. Okay, so I'm um, gonna take it down to the floor and if your heart rates are still too high, no worries, just march it out doing this when you're ready. Okay, so for the first one, we're gonna do single leg drops and then we're gonna turn it back for 30 seconds and then turn it back into a, a, a plank for another 30 seconds. Okay, so again, legs are up, lower backs on the mat, nice and straight legs. So take a deep breath in, bring it down, make that imprint. If you want to have your hands under your hips, Provide a bit more elevation, provides that little bit of a support so that your lower back doesn't lift. But you're going to nice and slow, take the leg down, hover the floor and bring it back up. And what you don't want to do is again, you don't want to lift your lower back and you don't want to use momentum. You want to be nice and slow. And up, down, and up. We got one more and then we're going to switch and take it over to a plank. Excellent, roll right away into a plank. Your elbows are right under your shoulders. And as I mentioned before, you don't have a, a quite a rounded back and like hips up like that. And you don't want to sink and you don't want to dump weight into your um, chest. So push your shoulder blades together, but keep it nice and controlled. So you got a nice, like a flat back, but you're not um, overarching or, or dipping your hips look forward don't drop your head just look a couple of feet in front of you feet together is harder feet apart provides a little uh, bigger base and one excellent just push it back into a nice child pose push it back sit it right back arms out it's a nice stretch Whew, through that upper back back of the shoulders your lower back Excellent. Okay, coming back to center. So we're going to be doing some, um, a couple more um, a core movements, and then we're going to stretch it out. Okay, so let's slide right back down again, nice and slow, nice and slow. Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to do your um, regular crunches, but an option is to take the right leg out and then take it like to the 45 and turn your foot so like you can the inner thigh gets a bit of a work here too because we're going to lift and down so just hover the floor here um, your other leg the knees not flaring out you're going to uh, tuck your chin in cradle the head and cup up a, a couple inches and that's your start and stop position don't pull on your neck as you come up bring that right leg up and back down four eight exhale on the way up and seven and six five four three two this last one hold it up hold it up little pulses for eight seven six five four three two one bring it down other side you're almost there eight seven six five four, three, two, and one more. Hold it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Bring your knees into your chest, side to side. Massage your spine. So let's start stretching it out. Beautiful. So you can take the left leg, keep it bent or straight. Bring the right leg up, grab the back of your hamstring, or your calf and then flex some point you don't want ever to like pull the back of the knee back of your joints to get a nice stretch in the back of your leg and then take that leg place it on top of the other one into a figure four reach through feel in the right glute and then circle the ankle in the air in one direction and if you don't feel this in the right glute just open up a bit or very gently press against the sides of your, uh, your inner thigh 
and then circle the other way and then you can feel it even more beautiful now cross that leg on top of the other arms go to position i want you to slowly drop the knee to the left as you look to the right you want to keep your shoulders down now here if this is too much as it goes down place something underneath your um uh knees here so that they don't fall all the way down so you have a block or if you have a, a pillow or something and if you don't feel it enough you can always straighten the leg and then you can feel a deeper stretch slowly come back to center very slow you're in a twist watch your lower back on cross then the right leg is bent or straight bring the left leg up and then flex and point it's a nice stretch through the back of the leg a few more seconds left and then cross in and then circle the ankle in one direction take a nice stretch in the left glute and then the other way beautiful and then cross that leg over open up and just drop the knees to the one side and then just slowly come back up huh? on cross now come to standing position and let's do a cross stretch and hip flexor so nice and soft under one leg balance hold on to something if you need to cross to get knees pointing down but just bring your hips forward so tuck and bring them forward push against your hand you feel a deeper stretch into both your quads and get a hip flexor stretch at the same time and then let's switch on the other side i'm just about out of time thank you so much for joining me it was a pleasure to be with you i'll see you again on wednesday we still do three to one but again the moves will be um, all different and then maybe the week after we'll do something all different so let's take a couple deep breaths and you're done in and out i hope that you enjoy yourself and have a wonderful day i hope you get to go outside and enjoy that wonderful weather take care everyone thanks for joining in bye bye